Hi, this is Tom from ZeroDefinals.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through acoustic neuromas. And you can find written notes on this topic at ZeroDefinals.com slash acoustic neuroma or in the ear, nose and throat section of the Zero Definals surgery book. So let's jump straight in. Acoustic neuromas are benign tumours of the Schwann cells surrounding the auditory nerve or the vestibular cochlear nerve that innervates the inner ear. They're also called vestibular schwannomas as they originate from the Schwann cells. Schwann cells are found in the peripheral nervous system and they provide the myelin sheath that surrounds neurons. Acoustic neuromas occur at the cerebellopontine angle and are sometimes referred to as cerebellopontine angle tumours. Acoustic neuromas are usually unilateral. Bilateral acoustic neuromas are associated with neurofibromatosis type 2. A tom tip for you, bilateral acoustic neuromas almost certainly indicate neurofibromatosis type 2. This is a popular association in exams, so it's worth remembering. Let's talk about the presentation. A typical patient is aged 40 to 60 years, presenting with a gradual onset of unilateral sensory neural hearing loss, which is often the first symptom. Unilateral tinnitus which is a ringing or an extra sound in the ear, dizziness or imbalance, and a sensation of fullness in the ear. They can also be associated with a facial nerve palsy if the tumour grows large enough to compress the facial nerve. Next, let's talk about investigations. Audiometry is used to assess hearing loss, and this will show a sensory neural pattern of hearing loss. Brain imaging, such as an MRI scan or a CT scan, can be used to establish a diagnosis and the features of the tumour. MRI scans provide more detail than CT scans. Finally, let's talk about management. Ear, nose and throat specialist management options include conservative management with monitoring, which may be used if there's no symptoms or treatment is inappropriate. Surgery to remove the tumour, which could be a partial or a total removal of the tumour. And radiotherapy can be used to reduce the growth of the tumour. Notable risks associated with treatment are injury to the vestibular cochlear nerve, resulting in permanent hearing loss or dizziness, and facial nerve injury with facial weakness. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, left a comment or subscribe to the channel, thank you so much, it really helps. Zero Definals is not just a YouTube channel, there's also a website with detailed notes, illustrations and questions, an Instagram account where new questions are posted every day to help you test your knowledge, books, flashcards and much more. I also have a personal channel where I share my thoughts and tips on learning medicine, and you can find links to everything in the description of this video. See you next time.